All right. In this video, I just want to tell you to check out the info box because I got a link to about four short videos. Each one's less than five minutes, giving some very vital information, such as the right using the sound of freedom as propaganda to get you to chip your children. They're already getting this kind of thing normalized and setting it up as it's a way to track and protect your children. And I'm sure in the future they're going to have a news event where they were able to find children because they were microchipped. And it's going to encourage you to be doing this. And those who don't do it, then they hate their children and they're not good people, just like those who wouldn't take the snake bite so that the boogeyman wouldn't get them sick and their the weak and elderly sick and you know all their loved ones sick. Right? You were a bad person because you didn't do this for everybody else. It's going to be that same thing because the left and the right are on the same team. They're two wings of the same bird, two sides to the same coin. It's the tree of the knowledge of not evil, but good and evil. You see, it, what we're seeing before us is a wrestling match between Satan and Lucifer. It's the same being, but he's coming to you dressed up in the red suit and the horns and the pitchfork and the weird tail. Like, ah, the obvious bad guy coming to get your children and doing horrible things to them. And then on the flip side, he comes dressed as an angel of light coming to save those children. But it's the problem reaction solution. They create the problem and then give you the solution, which is not a solution that you would have accepted if they didn't cause the problem in the first place. Right? And no way. That hopefully I can just cut that out. A little blip came up there. But anyway, uh, I think that was probably just get my train of thought derailed. But we can see in one of these videos Trump talking about actually doing that, setting up this not just a 5G network but a 6G network using the, the chips to be able to track the children. But it's also going to be able to track everything. And there's uh, links to uh, these articles talking about the, what is it called? The digital currency that's coming out. What I, I can't remember what they call them, the, the, the short version of that, but it's basically a digital currency. And in order to use it, you need to have a chip. So all these things are already set up. Uh, you even have Bill Gates' pattern, Patton, of 060606, which is a chip that actually runs on your bodily functions, as in your movement and your heartbeat and your nervous system actually powers it. So it doesn't need uh, a change of battery and stuff. It doesn't need the sun. It can be inside of you and energized by you. And uh, so all these things are being set up. And not only that, Israel loves Donald Trump. In the world, if you look at the news around the world, they don't look at Biden as the president of America. They look at Donald Trump. Israel even called in one of these videos Donald Trump the president. And this was taken in July 10th, 2023. And they ended up giving him the crown of Jerusalem. These things are already being set up. It, all this stuff is here. So there's uh, one of these guys, uh, the YouTube user Antichrist45, has been pointing this out for a long time. I think he's been given some insight. Because at first I was like, yeah, everybody says every president is the Antichrist. They like They look at Obama. Barack Obama in the, what do they try to say in the Aramaic, where Jesus says, I saw 
Satan fall as lightning, that that is Barack Obama, that that's the same uh, words used. And it's like very interesting stuff. But you see, it's like I was saying, the, the black versus the white, they're on the same team. You have Obama acting as Satan, Donald Trump coming in as Lucifer. And it's crazy how the Christians have just flocked to this guy as if he's the savior of the country. And it shows that they really worship the country and they've set him up as an idol because when you speak out against him, they look at you as some kind of anti-patriot, anti-American, as if you're for Biden. And it's just like, no, I just see the setup. They're using Biden to make Trump look good because we all thought Trump was just a rich, pompous ass until he came and started speaking against Obama and Clinton and then Biden, uh, Biden there. So if he didn't have these obvious shitheads against him, he wouldn't look like the good guy you think he is. And they think, oh, he's a Christian. Just because someone says they're Christian doesn't mean they're Christian. I mean, you're very easily fooled, Right. I just you can have the Muslims coming in dressed in their garbs. They're like, yeah, we're Christian. And you, oh, they said they're Christian. Is that how easy it is to fool you guys? When asked if he asked God for forgiveness, he even says that, oh, I don't No, I don't do that. I just try to do better. Well, that's not Christian. Not at all. That shows that he doesn't truly believe he's never been born again by his own words. Yet yeah, everybody's flocking to him. And to just wrap this up, I wanted to read this verse here. Because I've had uh, talks with people, uh, especially from the people from Kent Hovind, Donnie B's camp, where they believe in this post-trib, pre-wrath rapture, which is basically a mid-trib rapture. They just renamed it, repackaged it a little bit. And they like this verse here. In Second Thessalonians chapter 2, at verse 3, it says, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first which we already see with the Laodicean church and the church not focused on God and getting the gospel out, but focused on setting up a, a person as president to keep the comfortable life going because their, their treasure is built up in this world, not the next. And this next part says, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. I believe this has already been done. Not just that we have the papacy, where the Roman pontiff claims to be the vicar of Christ, and a, a good chunk of the reformers were saying that the Roman pontiff is the Antichrist, so that it's already been revealed. But the this guy, Trump, he's already given the crown of Jerusalem. The next step is they're going forth to conquer. I believe the man of sin, he's been revealed. Israel rejected Jesus Christ who came in the name of the Lord. But they're accepting one that's coming in his own name. I suggest you look at the videos that this guy, Antichrist45, is his YouTube username, has put out. Uh, very detailed stuff. Some of the stuff is a little... I don't know the word to use for it, but it's just like he's grabbing every little nook and cranny. So some of it looks like, yeah, I think you're giving it a stretch there. But then when you look at it as a whole and you see his other stuff that he's saying, it becomes very clear. And then with this new stuff coming out, it's very clear. Uh, such as uh, the last thing I'll put out here is that QAnon. QAnon really supporting Trump, and guess what they they are backed by? They say that Q is some kind of AI quantum computer, so they're on the side of the AI, right? They're on the dark side, claiming to be the light coming to save you. Lucifer coming as an angel of light and his ministers as ministers of righteousness. Not only that, they have some very strange ideas that there's aliens. But not just that, Donald Trump is tight with the aliens. 
it seems like Trump might actually be the middleman between the aliens and man, setting him up as the Antichrist. All this stuff seems to be setting up, and the more I look at it, getting more puzzle pieces, the picture is becoming more clear that this appears to be the man of sin. I am becoming very convinced of this. That's why I put the picture here of him sticking his tongue out as a snake. As he told that story about the snake and the woman helping out the snake and the snake still biting her and the snake telling her, hey, you knew full well that I was a snake before you helped me. And just like the rest of you, you know that he is a snake. He's a conniving con man. You know he's a snake. So it, when he finally cons you, you have no excuse because he even told you the story about how he was a snake in the first place. So, thanks for watching. So that fella couldn't join the church. He couldn't join the church. He couldn't get baptized. He couldn't get baptized. He woke up with God. He woke up with the devil. Are you saved? Amen. So that fella didn't take the sacraments. Didn't take the sacraments. Didn't say the rosary. Didn't take the rosary. Didn't tithe. Didn't tithe. He went to heaven. He went to hell. You saved? <laughs> didn't keep the law. He didn't keep the law. He broke the commandments, he broke the commandments. He didn't keep the golden rule, he didn't keep the golden rule. He woke up in glory, he woke up in the pit. Are you saved? You're saved, but you're not saved. You're over here or you're over here. You sure ain't in the middle. He said, Lord, remember me, thou comest by kingdom. And Jesus turned to him and said, Verily I say unto thee, today shalt thou be saved. Just like that. You have been saved? Yeah. If you ever saved, you were saved like that. Yeah.